Hello dear students, a very warm good morning to all of you and welcome back in our science spirit. So as we know in this science period we are discussing about our first lesson and what is the name of our lesson? That is food and digestion. What is the name of our lesson? Food and digestion. In that already we have discussed about the food, in that we have discussed about different nutrients, roughage, water and balance time. Okay. So now today we will move for the next one point or next one concept which is very very important that is nothing but what digestion. Okay. So what is mean by digestion? So up till now we have seen that we have to eat the food to get the different types of the nutrients to our body. Okay. But have you ever think that what happened to the food that we take inside? Okay. What happened to the food that we take inside? Because see whatever the food we are taking inside that food directly does not gives us energy okay so if you have eaten the rice that rice the, is does not represent or it does not remain in our stomach as it is okay there are certain so there are certain or there are further processes are going on over that food okay so whatever the food we eat that food does not gives us direct energy to our body that food get digest okay and after digestion it release the energy and that energy we are using to utilize or that energy we utilize to perform the different activities okay so here i said that the food we have taken inside it get digest or after digestion it gives us energy so what is mean by digestion so let discuss the definition of the digestion digestion is a process in which the food we eat okay so it is a one type of process in that what we are doing with the food we eat or whatever the food we have what happened to that food is broken down that food get break down okay into simple into simple and soluble substances okay so whatever the food we are having that food does not give us direct energy so how it will give us energy that food get break down and it get convert into the simple and soluble soluble means what which get mixed into the different thing okay for example salt if you add into the water it will get mixed into the water it will get dissolved into the water it means what the salt is a soluble in water okay so in this way what we can say that the food we eat get break down into the pieces or into the different different parts and then it get converts into the simple and soluble substances and then that simple and soluble substances are absorbed by the body okay and then that simple and the soluble substances get absorbed by our body and then our body gets the energy okay so again i will repeat what is the definition digestion is a process in which the food we eat is broken down the food we eat is broken down into simple and soluble substances into what simple and soluble substances that are absorbed by the body and that process is called as what digestion okay so to perform the digestion process we are having different system in our body and that system is called as what digestive system Okay, and to do the work of the digestion, we are having the different organs, and they are called as what digestive organs. So let's discuss how exactly digestion of the food takes place in our body. Okay, so my dear students, here you can see the one diagram I have drawn over here, and what is the name of that diagram? That is human digestive system. Okay, so like that certain system, like that certain organs are present in our body. And what is the work of that organ? That organ helps to digest the food. Whatever the food we have, that food get break down, converted into simple and soluble form by all these organs. And together, we all these organs are called as what? Digestive system. Okay, what digestive system? So let's start. So the first digestive system organ we are going to see that is what? Mouth. Okay, that is what? Mouth. So as we know, whatever the food we are having, that we keep into our mouth. Okay. So as we keep the food in our mouth, we started to chew it. Okay. So with the help of the teeth, we started to chew the food. We started to cut the food into the small. 
small small pieces okay we uh, so with the help of the teeth we started to chew the food and we started to grind the food at the same time the food get mixes into the saliva now what is mean by saliva okay saliva is used for as we know that if see your favorite food comes in front of you then your mouth starts watering if i say certain names of the food i am like if i say tamari if i say the mango if i say the amla then our mouth starts watering some liquid comes in our mouth and that liquid substance which is present in our mouth that is nothing but what saliva okay so once the food comes into the mouth it get or it started to chew or our teeth started to chew and grind that food also that food get mixed into the saliva and once the food get mixed into the saliva then what happened the food that is what complex food that is what starch okay so whatever the food is present in a food whatever the starch which is present in the food it gets converts into starch gets converts into simple sugar okay start uh, start they convert into simple sugar okay so see here we have already discussed starch and sugar both are the types of carbohydrate but the starch is a complex carbohydrate while the sugar is a simple carbohydrate so again i will repeat the with the help of the teeth the food started to get chew or get dry also the food get mixed into the saliva and once it get mixed into the saliva then what happened the starch in the food get converts into the simple sugar okay get converts into the simple sugar and also very important thing is that our saliva makes the food soft that is the reason we can easily swallow the food okay why it get mixed into the saliva and it makes the food soft and then we can easily swallow that food so this is the first organ of the digestive system that is nothing but what mouth so my dear students see here i am having the model of the digestive system human digestive system so see here this is our mouth okay in the mouth our food comes then it get chew grind then also the starch is present in the food it get converts into the sugar also the saliva may okay, makes the food soft and that soft food we get swallow we swallow that food and then it comes into the next organ of digestive system that is what food pipe can you see this pipe like structure and it passes the food that's why it is called as what food pipe okay so what is the function of this food pipe this food pipe transfer the food from mouth to the stomach okay so it is the one connectivity among the mouth and the stomach okay so from the mouth that soft the food comes into the food pipe and from the food pipe it enters into the stomach okay so see here so food passes from this food pipe and enters into the stomach okay enters into the stomach and very important thing this food pipe is also called as esophagus okay this food pipe is also called as esophagus next one up till now we have discussed two digestive organs that are mouth and food pipe that are what mouth and food pipe what is the function of the food pipe it transfer the food from mouth to the stomach okay now the next one we move for the next one part or the next organ of the digestive system that is what starch okay uh, that is what stomach so what is the function of the stomach what happens in the stomach so once the food comes into the stomach it get churned now churn means what you have seen how your mother is making the butter meal they are churning means the food get rotated very fast okay the food get rotated very fast okay that is a thing we call called a, we can say as what churning okay so the in the stomach the food get churned and also it get mixed into the different digestive juices now digestive juices means what these are the certain substances so these are the certain so uh, liquid substances which helps to digest the 
food okay so in the stomach there are the some digestive juices in the digestive juices the food get and my dear students then what happens once the food comes into the stomach it get shot and it get mixed into the digestive juices so once the food get mixed into the digestive juices then the food get converts into simple and soluble form okay so in the some of the food get converted into the simple and soluble substances okay the food get converted into simple and soluble substances okay so what you have to keep in the mind in the some there are the digestive juices in the some of the food get churn they start to rotate very fastly and then it get converted into simple and soluble form okay now after that what happen from the stomach the food comes into small intestine okay what small intestine before that i will show you in this model see this is what stomach in the stomach the food get converted into the simple and soluble form from the stomach the food comes into this small intestine okay and this small intestine how it looks it looks like a coiled like structure okay they are coiled they are very entangled with each other they are coiled like structure okay so this small intestine is also the called long coiled like structure and in that small intestine also some digestive juices are present okay so this small intestines are the very easy here or see in the model see in the model you can see very small structure of this small intestine but no since they are coiled you can see it is very short but actually they are very long okay so the small intestine are the long coiled like structure and the small intestine also secretes the digestive juice okay and very important thing my dear students in the small intestine the digestion of the food gets completed okay so in the small intestine digestion process get completed so in which part of the digestive system the digestion process get completed that is in the small intestine understand about the small intestine next one now we will move for the next part then right? after the small intestine the food comes into the large intestine large intestine is their size is also large as compared to the small intestine so in the large intestine what happened so in the large intestine the undigested food whatever the food we eat that all the food does not get digested some food get digested in the small intestine and the undigested food get transferred to the small large intestine the undigested food transfer to the large intestine so what happened to that undigested food in the large intestine in the large intestine water get absorbs from the undigested food okay water get absorbs from the undigested food and makes it to the solid phase solid phase means what whatever the stool every day you are going for the potty during the morning Yes, and we are throwing out the undigested food from our body. That is only nothing but what solid phases. Okay, so the solid phases forms in the large intestine. Okay, so in the large intestine, undigested food comes from the undigested food. Large intestine absorbs the water and convert that undigested food into the semi-solid phases. Okay, next one. And then last one that is. what anus and with the help of the anus we are throwing out the undigested food okay we are throwing out the undigested food with the help of the anus okay so all these are the major parts of the digestive system but along with these some parts or the organs there are the certain glands are there that are liver and pancreas okay so see this liver and the pancreas does not take part in the digestion process but they helps to perform the digestion process okay they helps to perform the digestion process see your parents are also helping you in your studies okay but at the end who have to give the exam yourself like that this liver and the pancreas also help for the digestion okay but they 
they did not take the part in the digestion process okay so let's discuss about the liver so this liver produces one type of the juice okay that is what bile juice okay liver produces bile juice which helps to dissolve the fat which helps to soluble the fat to makes the fat soluble in the oil okay or we can say that the fat get dissolved into the bile which is secreted by which is performed which is produced by the liver so liver produce the bile juice in that the whatever the fat is present in the food it get digested okay next one is there that is what pancreas okay that is what pancreas so that pancreas also secreted some digestive juices and in that digestive juices carbohydrate carbohydrates proteins and fats get dissolved in small intestine okay so from the pancreas the digestive juice comes into the small intestine and in the digestive juices carbohydrate fats and proteins get digest okay so these are all the different organs of digestive system okay digestion process starts from the mouth then there is a food pipe then there is a stomach then the food comes into small intestine then it goes into the large intestine and with the help of the anus we are throwing out the undigested food from our body okay so you have to listen the video properly and along with that you have to read your textbooks also properly and very important thing is that you have to try to draw this diagram in your science notebook okay try to draw this diagram in your science notebook you can draw like this structurally no need to draw the body okay so you have to draw this diagram in your science notebook and along with that you have to do the reading also that is only your homework okay so this is all about today today we will stop here we will meet in the next video with the next point and for today thank you